One of the fundamental skills to building an estimate and exactimate is the ability to dimension a room and sketch. This is a quick way to generate totals that will be used to determine quantities for your line items. Perhaps the simplest way to get a room with the exact dimensions is to simply create it the size you want. Click the drop down arrow on the room tool and select dimension rooms. Type in the desired dimensions for the room, remembering to separate feet and inches with a comma. Click Insert Room to add it to the sketch. The room appears on the sketch. Click it to select it. Then click and drag the red room handle in the middle to drag and attach it to the rest of the drawing. While this method is straightforward, it can be tricky to get the sketch to piece together properly and it isn't used as frequently. Much more common is to click and drag individual walls to move them. Because sketch drawings are always to scale, moving walls changes the dimensions of the room. Click inside a room to select it. When a room is selected, the floor is shaded blue and square wall handles appear in the middle of each wall segment. Click and drag on these handles to expand or shrink the size of the room. As you drag the wall, the affected measurements change in real time, making it clear when the wall is in the correct position for your desired dimensions. While clicking and dragging is effective, many users find it somewhat slow to get their mouse in exactly the right place for the dimensions they need. So a third way to dimension rooms is the best of both of the earlier ways. Click and drag individual walls for precision adjustments, but type for quick and accurate measurements. To do this, select the room and click and drag a wall handle as before. But instead of carefully placing the wall, note that as the wall is moving, the measurement has been underlined and is blue. This signifies that the measurement is clickable and typable. Click on the measurement and type in the desired measurement. Again, use a comma to separate feet and inches. Press enter to submit the measurement and move the wall. The only precaution you should take when typing measurements in this way is to know that if the measurement sends the wall past an intersection, that corner acts as a magnet and stops your wall. To avoid this, make a good habit of always dragging the wall past any intersection before typing the measurement. This can help avoid most corner magnet issues. Dimensioning rooms is the fastest way to create accurate totals for your line item. With three different ways to do the job, there's always a way to get the room to be the right size. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week. Visit exactware.com forward slash training for additional training on Exactware products.